There he is. I'm sorry. I weren't quite sure that you're on camera yet. Mr. Barnson, it looks like it has ended in tears. We're told that the little guy has lost, Bloomberg says, $167 billion. You saw this coming. Well, of course, and I, I hate to say it, Stuart, I don't think it's done. I think that there's still probably plenty more tears to be shed. What happens in these types of situations is a lot of times people see big drops and they assume, okay, now I'm getting a second chance, a second bite of the apple to come back in. And, of course, I can't say exactly where fair value is, but let's just say that a lot of these names, it very likely is lower than where it is still. And yet there's some people holding long positions because they came in speculatively and uh, they found out that there's no such thing as free money. Um, can you deal briefly for us with um, Amazon, a change at the top? Can you just tell us what that means for Amazon? I know this is not your field, but it's a big story. No, but I mean, you know, I've been following uh, uh, high profile CEOs that have left their positions for my entire investing career. And I've seen some really interesting um, events with stock prices out of successions. This one was a bit of a surprise because it wasn't telegraphed and planned for years and years. So you look at like the General Electric uh, uh, transition when Jack Welch left about 20 years ago, and it was very well planned. It was very methodical. There were high profile people. They picked someone. But then the company itself came out of a really, really high valuation and struggled for years. And a lot of people looked at Jeff Immelt and said, oh, you know, you haven't really performed. But in reality, Jack Welch just left at a very high point. Part of me wonders if that's a situation. I suspect that the innovator of cloud services at Amazon is the right guy to lead the company going forward. But is Bezos leaving at a time when the valuations, you know, really tip top shape? It could be. So it's something for tech investors to watch. Thanks for joining us. Always appreciate you being with us. Come back soon, please.